Good morning. I'm about to try to take that drive I told you about last night with the navigation on autopilot. It might not work because I'm in Charleston and it's raining. Anytime there's any precip any precipitation or water involved with traffic, people start crashing into each other. So there may not be a highway route to the airport this morning. If there is, uh, we'll hook up the 360 camera and we'll try to take that drive. If not, we'll try in the afternoon or another day. Also, this morning the car is not communicating with anything. Not the app, not, uh, and, and not anything, either cellular or Wi-Fi, as well as it's not talking with the high-powered wall connector for the, for the home charging. So we're probably going to find it to be completely dead as a door now, like I did the last two times. So I'm going to get that on video this time, mostly for Tesla service, but also so you can see it too. And uh, then we're going to recover the car and head on over to the, to the airport. Catch you on the flip side. It looks like the car just went into a deep sleep, so uh, as I was unplugging it and moving everything around, I accidentally opened the front trunk. <laughs> uh, so. The reason that's interesting is uh, I had the key in my pocket upside down, so I hit the wrong button and it's raining, so that was inconvenient. Um, so the car appears to be functioning normally, and it looks like we're going to take I-26 to get there, so I'm going to set everything up. With this amount of rain, the Navigator on Autopilot in the past has complained. We'll see if it does this time or not. Because it looks like rain. Okay, as I get us to the highway, I want to note that the setup did work as we set it up last night. The Navigator on Autopilot automatically enabled itself. Uh, as far as it's trying to use Navigate on Autopilot to do its thing. Uh, the button was blue instead of gray, meaning it was active. And uh, now I'm now taking us to the highway. Uh, again, I don't know if it's going to try or not with this weather, but we are being routed through the highway, so we'll see how it behaves. If it doesn't, we'll try again this afternoon or this weekend, but I will get this footage for you. Okay. First time we tried this, it failed. Mostly due to the weather, a little bit due to Charleston drivers not being able to drive, especially when it's wet. So I don't think I'll keep any of that 360 footage and we will try again. Maybe I'll go out for lunch and we'll, we'll try uh, there, depending on what the weather's looking like. Uh, or like I said, we'll try in the evening and see what happens. There's no easy telling. We're on our way to Chipotle to try out the Navigate on Autopilot without uh, confirmations. And the rain has stopped for a moment, so let's see what happens. This is my last will and testament. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta tell it where we're going. So we're gonna go to... Navigate to Chipotle. Apparently it's a work truck and it's doing this. <laughs> He's trying to beat you up. <laughs> Except for it's not a truck, it's a... Um, it's actually. a car. <laughs> All right, we'll go to Center Point Drive. All right, so it's automatically navigating, hopefully. There we go. Let's do this. That's not navigating. It's supposed to do that automatically. Well, it's not yet set for local. It only goes sideways. Okay. Well, I hope it compensates because there's a weeble wobbling on me here. Yeah. It does have compensation. Yeah, that's why you drive this car. Uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be the little red one. Real men get rainwater on their cars and are okay with it. Rainwater or salt water? Admit it, boy. You, you're just afraid that you're just gonna get a you know, smudge on your electricals and dies. Okay, so we won't change lanes unless I'm holding the wheel. I barely won't do it there at all. <laughs> Let's see what she does. So my hand's just here for pressure so it doesn't freak out. So then what's the point of the autonomous driver if you have to keep your hand on the wheel? Don't give up. <laughs> okay, so apparently the car wanted to give up there. Just be go back to self-drive. Let's see what it does with this van. It'll probably let her in if she sees the signal. Yep. So what Casey is saying, people, is that <laughs> it's not doing well at this point. <laughs> so far, it doesn't appear any different. <laughs> so what's supposed to happen next is it, it will change lanes out of this exit lane for us. 
We shall see. Oh, it is too. <laughs> so there was the vibration of the wheel. It sees this van. Here, put it here, like to the screen. You see, you need like a mount like, that, that just sits there in the middle of your car. In the middle of your car would be cool. One that doesn't lock into the mirror. Okay, so it changed lanes. Well, actually, you can get one of these spider mount thingies with like with four legs, and you can wrap it around like your center console. Yeah. Well, it aborted the lane change, and then did it again. Okay. An upcoming lane change. We could tap that to cancel, but then then we wouldn't get where we're going. So I've got to set to the chime and the vibration, and the vibration feels exactly like the same one that it uses when you're drifting out of the lane under manual drive. So can it tell when you fall asleep? Yes. What does it do? Scream? It stops in the road with the flashes on. But it was scream first. It disconnects the steering wheel and jerks it to the right. <laughs> so you think your car's all of a sudden going flying under the bushes. That would be cool. What? That's usually what you need when you're falling asleep is that shock. Alright, so that, that did the trick. So the first thing it does is it cuts the music and it beeps at you a lot, and then it steps on the brakes, and then it brings it to a stop in the lane with the flashes on. Should it just like start playing death metal or something like that, you know, really loud all of a sudden? That would be cool. Alright, so it has not been cured of its behavior of riding on the paint in a right-hand turn. Okay. So it's, it's still smooth. The guy in the silver is hating us right now. Now it's back in regular autopilot. It's just a turn. You don't got to slow down for it. Yeah, look at that. So that kind of looks like a whole lot of a uh, 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 was it a do about nothing. <laughs> well, it, we've proven that it works. Now it's not raining, and I can see how it would be useful on a um, a longer trip. We're gonna charge because it didn't charge last night. Well, it did, but it didn't. It didn't finish charging because it woke up sleep. Oh, that, that was that was that was beyond red. <laughs> well, good thing they didn't start when the when the walk light came on. You need like a mount for your uh, like a helmet they can put on your head so you can yeah. walk around with this on top of your head. Oh, that'd be cool. Like a like a be- like a propeller on a beanie. Yeah, you wouldn't look like an idiot or anything. I know, right? <laughs> right you know what's next? Green light, no. Bam. So when this flies into the back of the car, just remember that you did that. I was letting you know to hold it. (laughs) Heavy.